Good morning and welcome to the Jet Experience. We are day two of two at Universal Studios Orlando. Today we're over at Islands of Adventure, uh, which is the second of third parts here. The third is a water park, which we're not going to. Uh, we actually upgraded to an express pass this morning since it's Saturday. We knew lines were gonna be long and they sure uh, are already long. We started out over at the Universal Orlando side for a few rides again with the Express Pass. We're already inside the park. We just got off the Hogwarts Express. Uh, so let's go see what this side has to experience. And we're heading into Seuss Landing. More of the uh, small child's area, children's area. And this certainly looks like a page straight out of Dr. Seuss. Very reminiscent, of course, of Whoville on the studio tour back in Hollywood. And we're getting ready to go on one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. And I've heard that uh, if you don't do the things it wants you to do, it squirts water at you. So that should be fun. It's starting to warm up a little bit. We just left the Dr. Seuss area and now we are heading into what is the Universal's uh, like Marvel area. There's a cafe for Fantastic Four. We're walking right beneath the rail of the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. It almost it pretty much looks like a page right out of a comic book and I see a Spider-Man flag and I see the entrance for the Spider-Man ride, which is where we are heading. Yep, this is very cool looking in here. Really does look like we're on the page of a comic book. Here's the amazing, the amazing adventures of Spider-Man. It's a very tall building that looks like uh, in downtown New York. Zoo in Central Park is the... Oh, we're getting word now. All right, we just got off the Spider-Man ride. Um, it was really fun. If you've been on the Transformer ride, especially in Hollywood, since there's not a Spider-Man ride there, it's exactly the same like that. You're in basically a car. It even looks like the same car. Um, and then you're basically driving around New York with the villains and uh, Spider-Man, and it's 3D or 4D because there's fire effects. This actually has a ball of fire that shoots out and then uh, has the water effects as well very similar to transformers um, kind of a high throw ride if you get motion sickness easily you'll get motion sickness on this ride as well as it actually spins a lot quicker uh, than transformers does at one point it goes i think it made two or three revolutions at a kind of a high speed so we all get a little bit sick to our stomach and there's a very non MCU Captain America, but it's Captain America all the same. Tires $2, if only. Ale to the Chief. And right behind Ale to the Chief, you can see the drop in the Dudley Do-Right ride. We'll see it uh, a little better when we get over to this bridge. We'll stand here and wait for one to come. There's one coming down now. That looks unbearably wet. And here's another view. And on the other side of the bridge, you can actually, they have a change machine, and then you can use some for the water cannons. And somebody right next to us just actually put some coins in. And here's, here's the uh, little boat coming that they're gonna hit. Let's see if they get them. Got them good. And I guess this area is actually called Toon Lagoon. So we are right in front of King Kong Skull Island, which is where we're going to head in now. So there we go, Skull Island, Reign of Kong. 
So just like Fast and the Furious, Hollywood has an attraction like this, but it's part of the studio tour, so you're already on a tram. Here, they had to devise a ride out of it, and we already saw it. It kind of looks like uh, almost like a, a bus of sorts, like for a jungle cruise or a jungle like expedition. It's a pretty cool queue working our way through. So I stand corrected. This is not just like the one in Hollywood. The portion that is in Hollywood is also in this ride. This one is also 3D, but they have several other scenes in addition to just the one with the dinosaurs in King Kong. And then at the very end, they have a true to scale, looks like life size King Kong. And I was sitting on the right side of the vehicle, which was the side he was on. So he was like probably less than five feet away from me. It was very, very big. Uh, this ride, definitely an A-plus for me, 10 out of 10 for sure, and the, gra the graphics are just 10 times better than in the studio tour. So somewhere right around the corner up here should be Jurassic Park. I hear a waterfall and I just saw a glimpse of it, so my guess is that's uh, probably the end of the ride. Yep, there's the waterfall I heard, here's the track. And we'll get a shot of it coming down. I hear one getting ready to come. Okay. Looks like you get a little less wet than Dudley Do Right, but we're gonna get wet all the same. Hey, Mike's been out. Get this one thing. That's These gentle giants. So oh yeah, we definitely got wet. I took off my outer shirt just in case so I could keep it dry. I don't know if you can really tell, but I I am pretty soaked. Declan got pretty wet too. Uh, that <laughs> ride was not awesome. <laughs> that ride was not awesome. You heard it from him. And just above the trees, you can see the very, very tip of Hogwarts Castle. So we're working our way over now to go on Flight of the Hippogriff which is one of the two rides at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at, in Hollywood. So I suspect it'll be about the same thing, but we'll go ride it anyway just for fun to help dry off from Jurassic Park. Now we're starting to get a much better view of Hogwarts. There's a very good view of this side of Hogwarts. And I can start to see the snow-covered buildings of Hogsmeade coming into view. There's Flight of the Hippogriff. Welcome to Hogsmeade with a really cool shot of this castle with the sun right behind. So that does it for our day at Islands of Adventure Universal Orlando. And this wraps up a very long and exhausting six days of theme parks, four days of Disney, two days of Universal. All the videos will be on the channel. Overall, definitely like Universal Orlando, significantly better than Hollywood, just because there's a lot more to do. The theming is really, really good. The detail is there. There's a lot more rides to enjoy. So I hope you liked the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you ring the bell below, you'll get notifications of our future videos. And make sure to join us on our next experience.